Well, would you believe it? She didn't try to uh, hit that one back too. And you take more risk, hint, chance for double faults. And that finds the line. Nice angle from Paolini to get the hold four straight points after spotting Sabalenka. Love 30. Oh, and a tough way to go out. The first double fault for Paolini comes on the final point of the opening set. Well, well, it was a thrilling 36 minutes, high octane tennis, but in the end, the world number one able to outlast the threat of the Italian as she takes it 6-4 in 36 minutes. Much more aggressive on the on the returns. And Sabalenka breaks to love her second break of serve in the last two. Paolini service games and now the upper hand is held by the world number one. This time Sabalenka is long and she squanders the chance to really pull away from Paolini. Broken immediately back in game number five. Wow. Oh, my. Set up everything perfectly. In fact, what a nuanced point. And threatening to break Paolini for a third time tonight. And Paolini is complicit in that effort. Just her second double fault. And the server hapless through these last couple of games, not winning a single point. And that misses. Paolini commits the air. And back to back finds herself broken. Her tiebreak record as she serves first. Being a little bit more tempered on this kind of shots, a lot of high, putting a lot of action with the right. Not looking for power at every shot. Oh, oh Paulini oh. with an answer. <laughs> the caliber of opponents such as world number one Sabalenka. Hey. Go ahead and add another maker plus 10 for the day. She's not done. Yeah, too good. Well played. And Paolini left it out there, and Sabalenka cleans it up. Well, it'll go down as a straight set win, but it was anything but routine. As Arena Sabalenka finds her way to the quarterfinals for the second time at the China Open. And dismissing her nemesis, the feisty Jasmine Paolini. 6-4, 7-6, and a dramatic turnaround as Paolini twice served for the set, but it's not to be. Sabalena remains perfect, 6-0 in sets one in Beijing.